Today we're going to paint sunflowers and I got these at my local farmer's market. Actually I got them about a week ago, uh, but anyway they seem to be holding up pretty well. And they're one of my favorite flowers to paint because they look like sunshine. Anyway today I'm going to paint a little painting in oil on a maple panel that I have put some clear gesso and then just uh, kind of tinted it a little bit with some uh, cobalt violet and I think some cadmium red and uh, so I've got some transparent orange here that I'm using to just draw in uh, the basic shapes and I'm only going to paint one of them on this little panel. It's six by six inches or 15 centimeters. So it's not too big. So I just decided I'd focus on one of the flowers. And uh, the colors I have on my palette are the, an Avignon orange, which is kind of like a earth orange. That's a what a lot of the middle is. There's also burnt sienna, cadmium, yellow, um, cadmium red. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, the blue I have is phalo blue, and then uh, viridian green and white. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm thinking back in my mind because I painted this about six hours ago. And I have two brushes. I have a flat bristle brush and then um, actually a sable brush and then a synthetic sable. So the orange brushes are my bristle brush and my fake sable. <laughs> and then the blue is a uh, Kalinsky Sable. All right, one of my favorite brushes uh, for wood panels. So just putting in some of the uh, darker colors of the leaves in the middle of the sunflower. And um, this background has a lot of the cobalt violet in it, but uh, I was trying to get the values right and uh, the wall in my studio uh, was about this much brighter than the sunflower and a lot of times you think the yellow flowers are going to actually be the lightest value but it's really good to check your values because in this case uh, there were a lot of uh, shadows on my sunflower and the actual uh, background and the wall behind the sunflower was brighter than the sunflower. I am putting some highlights. The highlights on the petals were mostly just on the edges, kind of like almost like an outline of the flower. It must have been the way the late afternoon sun was hitting the petals. Uh, because they were mostly in shadow, to be honest. They weren't too dark, though. Like, at the beginning of this video, uh, I kind of had them in uh, backlit, and they looked very dark. They, they definitely weren't that dark. They, most, they more look like what you saw when I zoomed in on them and they were just kind of like an orangey yellow color with a few highlights on them. So uh, I'm trying to just block in colors and not really do too much detail and I would say one of the challenges is the petals because uh, you do kind of want to not overwork the petals. And uh, I, I think for me that is the biggest challenge of this, the sunflower is uh, just not getting too uh, worked up about the details and also not overworking them. Like a lot of things when it comes to oil painting, uh, overworking the petals 
actually seems to take away from the painting, not add to it. And the fun thing about the sunflower is it's pretty easy to see what it is. So you can have a lot of fun and really a lot of, uh, take a lot of liberties with your painting. Uh, so I even add, I, I don't use phthalo blue very often because it's a bit of a bully of a paint. Um, but I took a little liberty with it to add just some pops of the phthalo blue to the leaf at the very end. And like I said, you have to be careful because it's just such a punch of power. But uh, yeah, I mean, since I had it on my palette, uh, I decided to just kind of exaggerate the leaf, uh, the leaves a little bit. There were three leaves and um, the main stem, and then there's like a little branch of a leaf coming off to the right side. And I don't have it painted uh, all the way. It looks kind of brown. And I think I'm, I, I'm going to add some green to that little stem. But it's starting to come together here. Yeah, um, the sunflower also, I think yellow is a challenging color to paint with because it's so high on the value scale um, that it's kind of hard to get it dark. So for the darks, I'm, or the shadows of the yellow and the darker tones, I add either the cobalt violet or um, the cadmium red, which makes it pretty much like an orange. And uh, then uh, you, I didn't want to add the phthalo because that would just turn it bright green. Uh, so I didn't do that for the petals. But I did also, uh, to exaggerate, add some whites to the petals um, to just kind of stretch the uh, range of the, the values. And here you can see the blue I'm talking about that I added a pop of it at the end. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to do and I'll uh, just show you at the end uh, the final uh, painting and leave just some music until uh, we get there. So tomorrow I am going to do the same sunflowers in watercolor. So come back and happy painting.